All right, this is gonna be a hot one. I'm holding on for this one. Uh, it's another one. So this is a, is another one I I just did uh, vilifying exchanges, and so I'm I'm in that mood right now of essentially tackling on the harder subjects. And this next one is definitely not an easy one. Is this idea that we're voting, and I'm using this in in quotation marks because we are voting in EOS, and how that came about, and how that is that has just been a terrible. Uh, verbiage or terrible uh, word to to describe what it is we're doing in EOS. Uh, so in EOS, at the onset, there was this idea, and, and I I was in that mindset too when EOS launched. It was this idea that EOS was going to be you know so scalable and so big and so performant that you'd be able to use EOS for basically EOS would replace the internet. It would be the backbone of everything that you do in your daily life, and that in part. Uh, something that you'd be doing with that because it was going to be so big and there's going to be so you know many applications at launch and there was going to be you know governments would be using EOS and academia would be using EOS etc cetera, etc cetera. it'd be the it'd be behind the fabric of our society and so EOS was going to underpin everything that we do going forward and at some point somebody started using the word we were going to vote. And when you were voting with your EOS tokens, you were voting because it was going to be a public chain and you're essentially voting for your elected representative, just like you would be voting for your elected representative uh, in current parliament. Uh, I'm in Canada, so we've got a parliamentary system that you'd be voting for your current parliamentarians at, you know, at the municipal level, at the provincial level, at the federal level, etc. And, and so we were using the term voting. And that is, and that continues to be, Terrible! We need to stop using the word voting. You're not voting. You're not voting for your elected representatives. You're not voting for your next parliamentarian on EOS. This is a closed network. Yes, it is a is it a it is an open network or free network, but it is a buy-in network. You need to have EOS tokens, and you're not voting for your next parliamentarian. You're voting for block production and or you're voting for or who you believe will represent the network better or in some cases as well who's you know uh, uh giving you back as many rewards so that you have a justification to stay in the ecosystem there's a bunch of reasons why you why you would want to send your stake in delegated proof of stake to a particular entity in in the way that that it's currently set up and i'm not saying and i that's going to be another rant not talking about the current system and the flaws and the advantages and stuff. That's going to be another round. Just the term voting and how that term has been at the core of a lot of the issues that we've been facing in EOS. It's been that we've been using the term voting, which is typically associated to democracy. It's associating to voting for your elected officials and how that has a connotation and how that, that starts and it makes connections in people's minds of what that means. In other ecosystems, they don't call it voting. So they don't have these issues that we're facing, even though it's the exact same system. They don't have very similar issues that we have in EOS, where people have this attachment with voting and, oh my God, our elected officials are doing blah, 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 because they didn't use that term. They use, for example, baking or staking. And in other ecosystems, they even facilitate that process and they show you how to, and, and, and the foundations and or their portal set up from the get-go to facilitate that process of staking. That is a fluid uh, type of process as it is in EOS. So it's the exact same thing. But a big difference is how we labeled it at the onset and the repercussions of using that particular term that we're still bearing today that still has a negative impact on our ecosystem. Again, do you realize how bad of a business move that was? Do you realize how bad of a business move it is to continue using that term? Stop using that term. I'm not saying don't try to improve the underlying protocol. Don't try to improve the process. That's not what I'm saying. So I know some of you are going to get angry. You're just happy with the current system, the way things are working. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying use a different term because you're not helping. None of us are helping each other if we keep using that term because that term has connections to a completely different idea, which is not what we're in. And so you're not helping. That term is not helping us as a business to grow. 
Stop using that term. It is staking. You are staking for a particular entity that you believe for whatever reason, and that's on you, that they bring back to you or to the ecosystem what you deem is justified or is good or is, is, is going to bring us forward, but you're staking to that entity. Don't use the other term. Stop using the other term. It's a bad business decision. What do you think? And I got pretty heated on this one because this is one that really touches, really touches me, really touches us to the core as a community. It is a terrible business decision. What do you think?